JD Pardo has responded to the death of Creeper. And what's he said? He's trying is he trying to justify we put up, put a tweet a few days ago, I didn't put the tweet, right? The other the other guy did. He says, uh, are you gonna try and justify it? You killed a member. Time to meet Mr. Mayhem. Camel sorts, exactly, baby. You're gonna get camel sorted into next week. Ezekiel Reyes. But JD Pardo has responded to the death of Creeper by tweeting, I want to comment on this, but I'm afraid I'll give too much about Easy and possibly spoil the rest. The season's almost finished. Remind me to respond to the death of Creeper at the end of the season. And then Joseph Raymond, uh, who obviously plays Creeper, also said, here guys, remind me that uh, <laughs> remind me that I need to remind him to remind us about what he was talking about. So there's a, there's a how do you remind me? What is this, Nickelback? Honestly, but for the people out there that might think that Easy had nothing to do with killing Creeper, which of course he did, right? We heard talk of uh, him talking to Diaz, saying that they've got Iron War on side, they've now got Stormy 8 on side, and you may be thinking, hmm, who's Stormy 8? Who are these people? This is who Storm 8 are, and here is one of their members. And it's Christopher Slim Miller. So, you may have been wondering who this guy is. Well, he's a part of the Storm 88 faction. And when the premiere was first on, did everyone know this guy was a part of Storm 88? I thought it was just some like random white guy in jail. Or like, like a Sons of Anarchy, it's like Sam Bernardino. Incarcerated member that stabbed Creeper. But to read this guy's description, Christopher Slim Miller is a member of Storm 88 on Mayans MC, a spin-off. So yeah. He's incarcerated. Of course, these guys work with the uh, Iron War. So it's all interesting, but he's only appeared twice, and he's literally only appeared twice to stab Creeper. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of sick. But apparently, he did do it on the orders of Ezekiel Reyes, which is quite insane. So, yeah, Reyes, it's easy to exactly wipe this guy. I believe it says here, Death's like... Nero and Creeper stabbed to death by Christopher Slim Miller on Easy, Ezekiel Easy Reyes' orders. Absolutely insane for him to come out and try and pretend that he's going to justify at the end of the season. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. Easy has had Creeper killed and there's no real way that he can manoeuvre around it. That's literally what he's done. He needs to accept what he's done and that mayhem should be coming for the sequel AS guys. And I've nothing really more to say. I just wanted to properly confirm this, that Creeper is dead and his funeral is next week. I've seen a lot of people holding out hope that Creeper could still be alive. Sorry to burst our wee bubbles. Creeper is not alive. And this confirms it, right? This absolutely confirms it. And no one can tell me otherwise. But anyway, we're going to look at one more guy. And we're going to look at Rain Quinn. In case people didn't catch the video yesterday. Because guess what, guys? Rain Quinn is still that. And kicking. Because look, he was first seen in the episode Southern. And then he was last seen. Look at that. Her blacks crackle and drag. So it is confirmed as uh, that he's returning. And as you can see, down here... My season five for Blacks Crackle and Drag, and look, like, is what he's mentioned in a few songs that was so. But look, it doesn't necessarily say he's going to be in nine and ten, but there's no proof of that there is proof because we've seen him in the trailer. So that's for all the people out there that doubt it. Big Stevie, cool. But anyway, guys, till next time, JD Pardo responds to Creeper's death. Oh, hell no.